question I get asked relatively often is what equipment do I need to practice martial arts at home? And that's a perfectly valid question. Maybe you live in an area where there aren't any dojos around you. Maybe the dojos around you are all closed for some unexplained reason. Or maybe you're just a brand new beginner and you're not really sure if you wanna invest the time and money into martial arts training. All those reasons are valid and they present the opportunity for us to train at home. So what we're gonna do today is talk about the life cycle of a martial artist, starting from a brand new beginner to the hardcore true believer and see what equipment you might need to pick up along the way. But before we get started, make sure you're subscribed and you have notifications turned on. That way you never miss a new video. So it's day one of your martial arts training. You just finished watching End of the Dragon and you're ready to get started. What is the bare minimum investment you need to make to get started? Well, you're looking at it. All you really ever need to train is a floor beneath you or a wall behind you, preferably both. Because with the floor beneath me, I can get all my strikes and practice in. And with the wall behind me, I can get some necessary fitness in. Remember, physical preparedness and martial arts go together like peanut butter and jelly. So from here, I can get up on the wall, start working on some of my athlean X style calisthenics. I can get some burpees in if that's what I want to do and then jump straight into throwing my strikes. And obviously if groundwork is my thing, I can get on the ground, start working all my drills from here. This is the bare minimum stuff you need to get your martial arts training started. But there's one more thing you're gonna need. A book or TV or the internet. Because while you might have the desire to practice martial arts, you also need to learn how to actually do martial arts. So like I said, this is gonna be an investment. So that's your bare minimum amount of equipment. But now it's been a few months and you're willing to invest more time and effort and money into your training. In which case, we're in what I like to call the necessary but not extravagant level of equipment. First thing I'd recommend you pick up is a pair of gloves. Whether we're talking about boxing gloves, MMA gloves, sparring gloves, doesn't matter. Something you can slide your hand into to protect it while you're striking. If you're looking for a recommendation, you can't go wrong with these Combat Corner MMA sparring gloves. Pick them up, use this code right here at checkout for a discount, you're welcome. And obviously, now you need something to actually hit, so if you wanna do it on the cheap side, go ahead and pick up one of these striking shields from Amazon or Academy if you have one in your area, and then just mount it to a post or a tree, just use a belt and wrap it around, and now you have an easy ad hoc striking surface. But maybe you don't wanna do it on the cheap side, so you need to invest in a freestanding bag. This right here is a Wave Master. You can fill it with water or sand to weigh it in place. And now you have something you can strike that has a little more substance to it than a striking shield mounted onto a tree. Obviously, once you put it down, that's where it lives. But as you can see, it's pretty easy to move. Now, this could be a Wave Master. This could be one of those bobs that everyone seems to like. There's plenty of specialty items you can use there to sub in for a freestanding bag. But if striking isn't your thing, maybe you wanna pick up one of these ground and pound bags. This has the same qualities as the striking shield that we mounted to the wall, but obviously now you can drop it on the ground, practice more of your ground and pound stuff, actually use it the way it's intended to. You can work full mount from here. You can work knee on belly. You can go for your side control. You can do a little bit more with the ground and pound bag than you can do with the striking shield. And obviously you can do way more than you can do with the wave master. Honestly, I'd recommend picking both of these things up, but if you really wanna focus more on your ground game, can't go wrong with the ground and pound bag. I'd also recommend picking up a jump rope or a pair of running shoes, because like I said, fitness and martial arts tend to go together and conditioning is a big part of martial arts. Plus, if you really wanna get your money's worth, you can use the rope now as an ad hoc slip bag. Last thing I'd recommend at this level is a bottle of disinfectant and a rag, because nobody likes ringworm. So that's all the stuff that I would say is necessary, but not extravagant for your martial arts training. But at this point, you've been doing it for about a year, maybe two, you're pretty well committed. So you actually want to get some nicer stuff, nicer stuff that won't break the bank. And I think it's about time that you invest in a bag. You have a lot of options when it comes to the bag you invest in. You can get something like a teardrop bag, or you can get the always popular long bag. Really, it just comes down to how much room you have and what you want to focus on. If you're looking for a bag that you can really 
kick into, then obviously you want the long bag. But if you're looking to focus on your boxing, maybe the teardrop bag is what you want. Now don't feel limited if you can't drill into a ceiling because there's thousands of options out there so you can mount this bag into any number of things. You can also find something that you can use to bolt into the corner of a room and worst case scenario, the way I did it back when I was younger, is you can take a piece of two by four, mount that into a tree and then hang the punching bag from that. So don't feel limited if you don't have the ability to drill into a ceiling. You can always find a way to mount these bad boys. Another thing that's really nice to have at this point is some designated gym flooring. Now, you can go with regular mechanic mats, which you can buy from Academy or from Target or honestly any auto parts store, or you can go a step up and actually invest in some martial arts mats. You can go with puzzle mats, which I think will be the easiest thing for everyone to get, or you can go for the rollout mat that you can put away when you're done with it, or you can actually get actual flooring installed. Either way, if we're at a point now where we're actually investing some serious money in our training, then I think it's about time we stop training on carpet or tile or grass and actually get some designated mats. So at this point in your training, you've gotten stronger and more athletic, which is good, but you're kind of getting bored with just doing burpees and sit-ups all the time, which is bad. So it might be worth investing in some free weights. I have right here in my hand, a pair of dumbbells, which obviously opens up a whole new bunch of exercises for us. But I think every martial artist should also get herself a kettlebell to swing around. This gives us a whole host of new movement patterns, which are a little bit more sports specific. And I think there's an underrated piece of equipment in the med ball. This thing allows us to be even more explosive than with the kettlebell and lets us do some more sports specific movements that might help us more directly in our training. You may have also found that you get some cuts when you're using your new bag. So it might be worth investing in some hand wraps to protect yourself from getting injured while you're training. And since you're gonna be on that website anyway, you might as well also invest in a second pair of gloves. Now you're training about three or four days a week at this point, and I'm sure you've invested in some workout clothes, but it might be time to invest in some actual sport specific workout clothes. In my case, I actually love training in a gi, but maybe that means getting yourself some tie shorts or a graphic t-shirt or just getting some compression clothes. Either way, I do think there's some value in getting clothes that actually make you feel like a martial artist. And just so you don't get bored, maybe it's time to invest in a weapon or two just to mix things up. Because you've invested so much time and effort into this quality martial arts gear, let's invite a friend so you have someone to train with. So now it's year four or five of your training, and you've got all your basic necessities covered. And we move on to what I call the extravagant, but still useful things to have. Chief among them, I would say it's time to invest in some mirrors. Because yeah, you can have your phone filming you while you're training, but nothing compares to having real live feedback as you're moving. So if you have the means, it's time to install some mirrors so you can see everything that's wrong with you. On the topic of your phone not being enough, maybe you should get a round timer. You need to invest in a Bluetooth speaker so you can listen to your favorite tunes or podcasts while you're working out. Welcome to the Pot of Five Rings, your martial arts podcast where we talk about martial arts. Maybe it's time to invest in some specialty gear, like a grappling dummy or a mukjong, or in our case, the speed bag. And other gi. At this point, you're starting to worry that you're spending too much money. Don't worry, just take out a loan. That'll cover it. Tennis balls, a great tool for agility and hand-eye coordination. How about something like a ring or traffic cones or even just some tape? so you can work on your footwork and agility drills. Maybe your friend won't be a huge asshole and he'll hold pads for you. At this point, you've invested so much time and effort as well as gone into horrible debt and sacrificed your social relationships that there's only one thing left to do. Open your own gym. Okay, I may have gone a little overboard, but martial arts is a passion that's very easy to go overboard on. And if I have one more recommendation, and you happen to like my shirt, I wanna let you guys know that I've launched the official Combat Self-Defense merch store. Head on over there, pick yourself up a t-shirt in various different colors, or a tank top, or a crop top, and we have plenty of other merch on the way. That's honestly the best way for you to show support if you like the channel. And on that note, if you feel like you learned something today, and if you're looking for a channel that combines the practicality of combat sports with the reality of self-defense and the fun of traditional martial arts, and I know we had fun today, 
then please be sure to subscribe, tap the notification bell, like, share, and leave a comment. This has been Rob from Combat Self-Defense. I want to thank you for all the hard work. Thank you for the hard work yet to be done, and I'll see you next time.